Julie, brain health has been a really big topic lately. How does nutrition affect brain health? It, it affects it in a number of different ways because it's important that we take care of our body and in the same time take care of our brain. So part of it is, first of all, like anything else, it's a good old overall healthy diet. You know, I ta I've talked about the new choosebyplate.gov and it, it emphasizes a healthy plate that has lean meats, um, lean proteins, it has dairy products, it has plenty of fruits and vegetables, and it has whole grains. And these all make up part of a healthy diet. But beyond the healthy diet, the general healthy diet, we think of, you've heard about diets for heart health? Yes, I was going to say, do we have to have a diet for each part of our body, body? or can they all go together? <laughs> you know, it's like, I have the arm health diet. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, a heart healthy diet is a brain healthy diet. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so, if you eat heart healthy, you're going to be helping your brain as well. And there are some little things that we're going to talk about to help improve that. But when you think about a heart healthy diet, you're working on doing things like reducing your blood pressure, keeping your cholesterol low, um, avoiding the risk of, you know, lessening your risk for diabetes, and keeping plaque from building up in your arteries. So you think of your brain that it's full of arteries and things like that, blood vessels, and you need to make sure that your oxygenated blood is moving through your brain because if you're not feeding your brain cells, they're not going to function very well. So that's why it's really important for your overall health and also for your brain to, to eat a heart-healthy diet. So what kind of foods are considered heart-healthy and brain-healthy? <laughs> <laughs> well, the basically are things, you know, watch your sodium intake, saturated fats, keep that low, keep your cholesterol um, consumption down to about 300 milligrams or less a day, unless your health care provider has said otherwise, so, and have more whole grains, less fat, and of course, you know, exercise. What's the omega-3 fatty acid? That's a fat that's okay? Or? Yeah, omega-3s are very good. They're actually an antioxidant, uh, and uh, antioxidants um, adding antioxidants to your diet in general are good, but they're also particularly good for brain health. So antioxidants are products that are found in our food that um, help combat free radicals in our body. And free radicals... I was going to say, you better tell me what that is. <laughs> free radicals are substances that are formed, basically they're broken down substances or cells in our body that have been broken down because just kind of as a, the process of our cells or if you smoke... Um, ultraviolet light will cause free radicals to form, pollution Things that kind can. of make your skin aged or your, your body mm -hmm. age and, and just age itself will release all of these yes. free radicals? And so if you eat foods that are high in antioxidants, antioxidants have substances that the free radicals will use instead of taking electrons from your healthy cells. And okay. so they, they substitute. They substitute. <laughs> they take stuff from the antioxidants and leave the good cells alone so help prevent so antioxidants can help prevent diseases. Okay. So the antioxidants we want to think about with brain health, there there's several of them. Vitamin C, and I have a slide showing vitamin C rich foods, which are things like citrus, strawberries, strawberries have a lot of vitamin C. We think of citrus and of course I, this is where I do my commercial to make sure you get your Florida citrus but strawberries are very full of vitamin C, broccoli is another great source, um, cantaloupe is a good source of vitamin C as well but generally all those products are going to be a good source of vitamin C. Like anything else the fresher the foods you know the peak of the flavor probably the peak of the nutrients. Mm -hmm. another, another important brain healthy antioxidant are two vitamins from the B group, the B vitamin group B12 and folate. And B12 is found in meat, especially red meat, but poultry, milk, eggs, and it's found in the egg yolk as opposed to the, um, the white. The white. The white's the healthier part for you, though, I thought. It's. <laughs> <laughs> they each have their benefits. <laughs> yes, because you know, we hear about egg whites and you know, that they're lower in cholesterol. So, but part of the new Choose My Plate guidance is that healthy people, unless your health care provider says otherwise, can eat a whole egg a day. So, and the yolk is the more vitamin-packed portion of the egg. So you might want to have one egg and then maybe have an egg white or something. But egg yolks are very healthy. So they help provide vitamin B12. And then folate is important for brain health, and it's also very important for pregnant women for helping with neural tube defects like spina bifida. But for your brain, folate's found in um, 
orange juice, strawberries again, edible beans, and many, many cereals are fortified with folate and also vitamin B12. Now, you mentioned strawberries again. I thought there's supposed to be a lot of berries, like blueberries and even you know, pomegranates, all these different things that are supposed to be really high in antioxidants. There's a lot of other berry things, too. Or fruit, <laughs> a lot of other berry <laughs> Berries and fruits. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. and, the, and blueberries have been shown to be very helpful. With, um, they are full of antioxidants as well. And there was actually a study in, I think it was 2005, where they fed mice a lot of blueberries, and they had better brain balance, a better balance and neural activity. So blueberries are great as well. Some other things that are really have good antioxidants are things like soybeans, Chocolate, Ooh, dark good. chocolate <laughs> in moderation um, is a good source of antioxidants. Um, and you mentioned omega-3 foods a bit ago. Um, Omega-3s, we don't manufacture. We do need to take them in. We need to eat them. And things like pink salmon, trout, white albacore tuna, are, and shrimp contain um, DHA, which is of omega-3. And then our healthy oils, we consider things like flaxseed, canola oil, Soybean oils, also olive walnuts. Oil? Olive oil? I don't think walnut, almond, I don't think olive specifically has um, omega-3s. However, it is a healthy oil. I could be wrong on that one about the omega-3s. But, but olive oil is generally considered a um, very healthy oil. So those are important to get in your... Um, in your diet as well. You said well. walnut oil or Wal some nut oh, walnuts, oils? nuts. Oh, oh, okay. Some nuts have. And there is oils. walnut oil. Okay. But um, but walnut. I know there's some almond milk now that you can get. That's just I I don't know how. I haven't how tried that yet. And I haven't read the nutrition label. Mm -hmm. Although I do know somebody drank it and tried it and said it was very good. Some other things. Some other good antioxidants for our brain health are beta carotene, which we get in yellow. Um, yellow food foods. groups. Mm -hmm. Things like sweet potatoes, um, carrots, kale, and spinach, even though they look green, they actually do have quite a bit of the yellow pigment in them. And some other leafy greens. And winter squash, also an orange one. And also something important to get also is vitamin E, another important antioxidant for our brain health. And that's found in vegetable oils and leafy greens again. So think about when you're buying your stuff for your salad, make sure you get that dark green leafy lettuce. What or about spinach. The, red, the red lettuce? Yes. Okay. That we you know, have that? The more colorful your food, the more antioxidants you have. So, you know, they're more vitamin packed than kind of the paler ones. So make sure that you're eating really colorful foods and don't eat just one color because if only there was like the perfect food that, you know, you eat this, it's the perfect food. There's no such thing. You need to eat a variety of foods and get a variety of colors. We only have about 30 seconds left, but are there any other important things we should know about? keeping our brains healthy? Well, part of that heart-healthy diet is physical activity. And actually, a great physical activity is dancing because not only are you doing physical activity, it's making you think as well. So, <laughs> If you dance ballroom type dancing, yes. you actually have to have a pattern you follow. Yes, okay. but physical activity, you, you're getting that oxygen and blood moving through your brain, and it's going to be healthy. So eat right, exercise more. Okay, great. Thank you.